George is our Chief Pathways Guide for District 57. Now this is the first Toastmasters district to start on the New Pathways Educational Program and he has been springing into action. He's been working with the headquarters staff for the last several months to understand the new program. I know he is feeling rejuvenated and he tonight will rejuvenate us. He has trained District Pathways Guides and been supporting and rejuvenating them as they reach out to all the clubs. Tonight, George will explain how mentoring fits into the New Pathways program. The title for George's five to seven <coughs> minute speech is Introduction to Toastmasters Mentoring. Welcome, George. Thank you. Thank you, Carol. This is all about mentoring. Have you ever had a mentor? Have you been mentored in either in Toastmasters or in your career? I didn't know the term mentor when I started out, but I first realized the value of it when I made a major career change early on. I was an engineering manager in a high tech company and I must have done very well at it because I was asked to join the marketing team in that same company as a product marketing manager responsible for working with the same engineering department I just left to help them define new products, bring them to market with all the things that you do in a high tech company to get something to a customer. Now, I thought I knew what was needed. I thought I did, but I soon discovered there was more to the job than I realized. As an experienced engineering manager, I had a way of looking things, but I made newbie mistakes as a marketing manager. For example, trying to second guess the schedules of those same engineering managers that I still identified with, and I nearly lost their trust. But my first marketing boss, Steve, and his director, Brenda, took me in hand and showed me how to work with engineering and with other departments to accomplish the goals and to help me understand the difference between knowing how a product works, which I did very well, and knowing how to work with another team to make it happen. Well, that company didn't actually use the term mentor, but I was indeed the grateful recipient of some very insightful mentoring by experienced coworkers and managers. What I learned from them, I used throughout the rest of my high-tech career. So thank you, mentors. Now, we have mentoring in the current program in Toastmasters, but in my view, it's not really very widely used. Some clubs have mentors, some clubs don't. Some emphasize finding a mentor for every new member. Others say, well, go look around and see if you want to do that. There is a manual, there's some other resources, but they really are not very widely used. Now the new program, Pathways, which we've been experiencing for a while and all you will experience soon, emphasizes mentoring much, much more. It is part of a change by Toastmasters to make our program even more relevant to our members and to their career goals. We have a great program already. This is a change to improve it even more. So let's step back and look at it for a moment. First, what is a mentor anyway? Toastmasters distinguishes between two somewhat similar roles. These roles may overlap at times, the coach and the mentor. Now, I use these interchangeably quite a bit of time until I got into it, understanding it. First, what's a mentor? I'll take a coach first. Now, coach is focused on helping their protege, there's a new term for you, protege, meet specific goals. They're often short-term goals. The coach may well be in charge of determining how those goals are reached, what the mentee should do, how they go about it. A mentor is a different kind of role, at least as defined by Toastmasters, and that's where we are. The mentor supports the protege as they take their own responsibility for meeting broader goals over some period of time. Let me give you a couple of very specific examples. This is relative to clubs, but it applies to mentors as well. We have a position in Toastmasters called the club coach. Now, that has a very, very specific goal. A club coach's goal is to help their club become distinguished 
within a set period of time. Very clear, definable, measurable goals. And the club coach often comes in with specific techniques and methods. A club mentor, on the other hand, works with a club from its very earliest days after charter, not to perceive a specific goal, which is being distinguished, but to help the club members and the club officers learn tools, learn techniques, learn ways of operating that help the club become strong. And the mentor doesn't tell them what to do. They show them things and the club tries them out. It's a great system. Now, what about mentor content and pathways? Definitely is more emphasis in pathways than we currently have now. For starters, every member in pathways must present at least one talk on mentoring. Guess what? The talk I'm giving now is my own first speech about mentoring, and I'm doing it as a pathways project. In addition, and this is quite new, Pathways has an entire module on mentoring. This is six months long. It's something that a member can start if they wish after they've gotten to level two of Pathways, involves a six-month commitment to working with a member in order to mentor them, to help them grow in ways that the protege wants to grow rather than specific steps. The protege is the one responsible for determining a path and steps with the support of the mentor. So as you can see, I hope, Toastmasters envisions mentoring as an important part of the member experience and pathways. And providing more training for the mentors is one of the most significant changes in pathways that I'm seeing. I've dug deep into the program and the changes you may have heard of are significant, but the emphasis is even more important. As I said, every member must give a speech about mentoring, and there is an optional multi-long, month-long program for members to earn the mentoring badge. So when Pathways comes to your district, I urge you, 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 and you, all of you, to check out the mentoring projects that are available to see how they can help you as a mentor, as a protege, or perhaps You'll do both. Madam Toastmaster, 